The channel that goes by Steve has been speedrunning YouTube for the past two weeks faster than anyone else has. 14 million views daily, and he isn't even posting shorts. So anyways, let me show you what happened. But only 1.5% of people are subbed, so if you enjoy, then hit the red button. Two weeks ago was the beginning of his channel, which is insane. I used Social Blade and apparently he was gaining 50,000 subs a day at one point. Steve posts funny Minecraft meme videos multiple times a day that are short and easily watchable. He basically has made YouTube TikTok at this point, as most people are watching a lot of his videos consistently. So why is YouTube recommending his channel so much? And the answer to that is all down to the algorithm. To get pushed by YouTube, you need three things. High click-through rate on the thumbnails, high watch time, and high average view retention. Short videos can still do without the retention, but the data needs to be better. Like instead of 50% on longer videos, you might need 80%. So that begs the question, is he speedrunning faster than Dream? And at some points, yes. Dream did a really good job of getting subscribers, while Steve is getting more views. But it's pretty close on subscribers, so in a few weeks that could change. It's just crazy to me how many views he's getting per day, and how fast he's grown. Like if he gains 50,000 subscribers daily, he'll be at a million in a month. I mean, personally, I've been doing YouTube for a year, and he's almost a thousand times bigger than my channel. The hardest part of YouTube is starting out, until you get a trending video. This happens almost instantly for him, and that's why similar channels that are small might post good content. Everyone lies under the YouTube algorithm, and even if you make the best video in the world, it might not get noticed. So yes, there actually was quite a bit of luck getting big, but why did it work so fast? If you didn't know, most of the YouTube traffic is actually from the homepage, and once you see one of his videos, it's like seeing a lollipop. Especially in a time right now where people would rather laugh at funny videos rather than some other boring video. Also watching more than one video on a channel boosts it incredibly, which most people do for his channel. I'm sure that YouTube will be changing this in the next few weeks for big creators like MrBeast, since it shows that you don't need to do shorts. He's basically accomplishing what shorts wanted to, but actually getting like more out of it. Steve will probably slow down pretty soon though, because of how YouTube works. YouTube is momentum based and people will probably move on to something else soon. It's an incredible look at what this man has accomplished though. It's insane and how fast he's grown. But thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. Peace out!